Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. I'm Bob Lennon, president of Thermal Heat Canada and host for the show. Our special guest today, Vince Ibar. Hey, Bob. Good to see you. Hey, it's nice seeing you again. I haven't seen you in a while. And uh, the reason why we're getting together today is that uh, to talk about Simply for Life. That's uh, your store. In, oh, you're not Bathurst anymore. I almost said Bathurst, but you've moved after 18 years. Right. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. You know, even myself talking on the phone or sending an email or something, it's pretty, you know, it's easy to make that mistake after being in Bathurst for 18 years. You know, it's get get used to letting people know we're in Bearsford area now, but uh I guess it was just a, uh, it was time for, for a change and the opportunity was there to move in this great location. So uh, we, we jumped on it for sure. Well, you're talking about great location. You're absolutely right. Like, uh, you know, you in Bathurst, you were kind of downstairs in behind two buildings and stuff and not very, very visible. And when we talk about business, about location, location, this location on the main drag in Bearsford, like it's all lit up. You will drive by at nighttime, you know, you, your head turns towards the building. So, you know, I'm sure that uh, you're getting new clients just because of that. Yeah, that's, uh, like you said, location, location with uh, the traffic that we are amongst now compared to before, like you mentioned, we are fairly hidden. But the thing is, the business model of Simply for Life has changed. It's kind of evolved also since the beginning, which we were primarily a nutrition consulting type of business. We didn't have much retail per se. We might have had 5% of our business was retail back then. And then uh, slowly but surely with the years, we kind of would add a certain product, add a certain item to feature to the clients. Let's say if it's something we recommended in the menu or whatever, uh, it just kind of grew like that. It's not something we planned or we decided, it just kind of eventually grew. And all of a sudden where people would say, you know, geez, you guys almost had like a little grocery store now. And, and even me, I was like, you know what, you, they're right. So we just, I guess as a whole, uh, we seen that there was an, a need and a demand for that. And uh, one thing I think that people really enjoy when they come in our stores is if they have a question on a certain food item, or maybe it could be about yeah. vitamins and supplements, we're right there on hand. You know, they don't have to run everywhere to try and find somebody to answer their questions. And that's a service that we, we offer to anybody that comes in here. They don't just have to be a member at our location in terms of clientele or consultations. It's open to anybody, and I, um, it's a service that we gladly provide for people who have questions on health and wellness, and like I said, vitamins or whatever. Uh, they don't have to be a client here, per se, to, uh, to take advantage of, of, that, our, of our service on that aspect. So you still offer the consulting side, so people come in here and you sit with them. They're your clients, like you said, or members, and uh, go through the whole exercise with you, and they're followed, and so on and so forth, as, as you did when you first started. So that still exists, right? Oh, absolutely, for sure. It's still it's still the biggest part of our of what we do of our business. It's it's uh, something we're very passionate about, also about health and wellness and nutrition, and anything that's involved with nutrition, we can help somebody in terms of a meal plan or uh, you know uh, uh, recipes to to accommodate the meal plan. What the goal of the clients, what they're looking for. Maybe somebody comes in here it has nothing to do with weight loss per se. It might be just to help them with uh, digestive issues. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and understandably, some people can get uh, frustrated, confused, um, you know, don't know what to eat or don't even know how to, to go about it to get a diagnosis, let's say, with irritable bowel syndrome. Like, it can be a pretty daunting task to actually find what it is that's causing an issue. Sometimes it's multiple things. Sometimes you think it's one thing and you notice that, you know, they could eat something before, wouldn't it wouldn't really bother them, but all of a sudden, because maybe they're in a kind of a flare-up now, this food item is bothering them. But so it's a it's a lot of work to you know pinpoint what can be the cause, but that's why we're there. We're here to people coach people on and we have proper techniques on how to isolate if if it's a, let's say an actual food that's a problem. Well, you know, that's interesting too. And and I want to go back and think about because you know this whole simply for life. There's it's a it's a franchise that is set up all through Atlantic Canada. I don't know if it's through any other place, but it got created here in our region, in the Shiller region, because uh, you know you and and Bruce Sweeney, you know, and Bruce is the CEO, CFO. I'm not sure what role that he plays in the uh, in the organization, but you know 
he's kind of the, the the main driver and we talked about this you know of of all the different outlets that you have all the way through the uh, the maritimes but it started off here in the Chalur region yeah um well the founder Bruce, the president of, of Simply for Life. He's from our region. He's from Nigadu. Um, actually, there is um, locations all throughout Canada. There's some of West, okay. uh, Quebec, uh, but all throughout the Maritimes and throughout Canada, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he is from our region, but Simply for Life started in St. John. Uh, long story short, what happened is uh, Bruce got an opportunity for a really good job in St. John. He headed out there and went to work for Air Canada. And while he was working with Air Canada, he decided to join the Health and Wellness Committee, which that was not something very popular back then, but it started, you know, it was getting more and more popular, I guess, these kind of health and wellness committees. So he, he decided to, uh, to be part of it. And I think the story goes, he was approached by, um, I don't know if it was the executives in Air Canada or somebody, to come up with a kind of a weight loss program for the employees. And then... Um, who said, sure, you know, I'll, I'll do it. But he says, listen, my, my dieting uh, for days with bodybuilding menus. So as you can imagine, you would take, let's say, an everyday person who, you know, might have needed to lose a fair amount of weight and put them on a pretty strict diet in terms of a bodybuilding contest prep type diet. Well, the amount of weight those people were losing was just obscene. It was unbelievable. So this generated a big buzz in the St. John area. Uh, people were just saying, what's going on at Air Canada? People were losing weight like crazy, and then word would spread, and then anyway, it kind of generated a buzz. So much so that Bruce asked his wife, which closed in, Sweeney, which she, she's a co-founder of Simply for Life also, he asked her, he said, what do you think? Do you think we should actually make a go at this? And, you know, maybe, maybe I could take a leave of absence from Air Canada and start a company, you know, maybe uh, that's why don't we give it a try? So... She was all for it. He, so he took a leave of absence and, and actually started the company in his basement at his home. Okay. Yeah. Two plastic uh, chairs, two uh, to camp, like um, patio plastic yeah. chairs. And yeah. he started like that and started advertising a bit here and there. And what happened, some people from his, like uh, his coworkers who were part of that first weight loss, uh, 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 health and wellness promotion, if you will, they followed him there because like that part of thing was over. So, yeah. but, but then because it wasn't just the employees, they brought their spouses, they brought a sister or a neighbor or a friend and then just kind of started like that. Anyway, um, it was pretty funny. He's told this story a few times, but all of a sudden he's living in a subdivision and there's an unbelievable amount of traffic going in and out of his yard every day, every day, every day. And, and like neighbors are wondering what's going on, you know, like all of a sudden, start seeing police vehicles coming in and out of his yard too, like sometimes two, three times a week. So all the neighbors are wondering, like, what's going on? The police? They figured there's some illegal stuff going on there. He said one of his neighbors thought he was bootlegging blue, blue alcohol because like with the cops there and that, but actually the policemen were part of his clientele, right? So he'd zip in and uh, get weighed and all that and then zip out. And anyway, it just transitioned from that to uh, getting their first location right on Rotsy Avenue and then, he grew that location within, I think, five or six months and then got to a bigger place. And just, you know, it's been um, it's been that kind of a transition, you know. And uh, where my part in, was involved in that is Bruce and I were really good friends. We met back in the gym days uh, here at Old Olympus Gym in Bearsford. Yeah. And, and our, our passion was nutrition. We talk about this, this new diet, this new supplement or whatever. And uh, I remember us, like, you know, jumping on a, a train together, heading to Montreal because this new diet guru was going to be there. Of course, back then, our, our pad was all bodybuilding-based, bodybuilding yeah. diets, contest prep, but yeah. still, nutrition was, we were very passionate about it. And, and he told me, with, you know, the things you're going to see later on, all, all of our efforts with this and our, our kind of passion nutrition, it's going to, it means something there. It's going to pay off, if you will, you know, and he always, would, he always said that. He had a vision and he could see where it was going to change and things have changed. You know, nutrition, the importance of nutrition, the importance of eating the right food and, and has become, you know, in vogue. It, it's what people uh, look for. And like you said, you've gone from the bodybuilding side to more of the health side and helping more people out. And now, you know, like you said, you've got more of a little grocery store going here, but it's more than just a grocery store. 
you're there consulting and helping out people all at the same time. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's great. And, and the fact that you've moved and the fact that you've, you know, you've been in business for 18 years that you've been here in, in, uh, in the Chaleur region. We'll get it straightened out and we'll say Chaleur. So we're not caught between Bathurst and Bearsford, but, uh, it's, uh, you know, it goes and shows the testimonial that you've been able to last that long through, through these years and, uh, that, uh, there's a need for it. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think there's a need for it. I think there's a need for more services like we provide too. Um, I think, you know, it was just a, uh, a logical transition from where we were before, like I said, because we we're primarily con consultant based. And then as our market grew, our little grocery store grew, of course, with retail, people has to see, they got to see you. So here in our new location in Bearsford, definitely we have a lot more visibility. So it's, it's brought in a Another, uh, I guess, another clientele part for people who want to come and shop and just buy good products, you know, good quality products that they have confidence in knowing when they walk in here that each and every item in here, I've gone over it with a fine tuned tone to make sure that it's good quality and within the guidelines of, of Simply for Life. Well, listen, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, people can't miss you now. Like they drive by and there's a, a lot of traffic that drives by on this road going to Bathurst they're coming back. And uh, I wish you the best with your uh, with your new endeavor. And, and uh, I know that if you're able to survive in the basement between two buildings where nobody's seen you before, uh, you're going to do well here. So congratulations on your move. Uh, congratulations on, on uh, evolving and growing with this. And, and uh, good luck. Well, thank you very much, Bob. And I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, all the people who has supported us throughout the year because, um, as you said, what we were hidden before. And if it was not for the support of the Shoulder Region, that I don't think we would have made it this far uh, with all the challenges that small business can go through the last, especially two, three years with the pandemic and everything and, and with inflation and everything. So uh, I have to give a big thanks to everybody who supported us throughout the year. Well, thank you for that. There we are. Another edition of Northern Heat for this week, the place you come to to listen to the stories that haven't been discovered yet.